I'm here at Nandan's Dan Tran Wine Company in Guangxi, where they make a variety of Chinese wine, including the most famous, Baijiu. Its name literally means white alcohol, and it's made from different types of grain. This company make a variety of different Baijiu's, and I got to see two very different processes. The first takes a year to make here and is primarily made from sorghum. See the steam coming off this guy's work and it's absolutely stinking. It's like getting into my nostrils and the back of my throat. It's really strong and you can definitely already smell that really, really famous smell of Baijiu. Since I'm here, it would be rude not to have a taste. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, really good! Yeah. The second baijiu here is made from rice and takes a much shorter time to make. If this baijiu is the one that we were talking about. It takes 10 days to make. Super short time, super short turnaround, and actually, I quite prefer it. The thing that makes this company stand out is where the wine is stored until maturity. Dan Chuan have created the world's largest underground natural wine cellar cave. The Natural Cave is a shrine to the popular Chinese liquor, and you could spend hours down here checking out the Natural Cave structures, as well as spotting thousands of bottles of the good stuff. Right now we're kind of in the depths of the cave, and behind me, if you believe it, is almost like a tomb of baijiu that's just been left here to mature over time. It is incredible, it's right in the rock, and it just goes on forever. Knowing just how popular baijiu is across the country, this company is planning to create a tourist hub surrounding the drink, striving to make Nandan a tourist hotspot for people from all over the country and world.